Hey everybody, today I'm bringing you a lesson on the 2-5-1 progression. This is going to be more of a beginner lesson. Um, if you're somebody who has practiced a lot of 2-5-1 material, you might want to check out one of my other videos where I do a little bit more advanced 2-5-1 work. But this is for somebody who's looking to get into learning a little bit of vocabulary. And what do I mean by vocabulary? What I mean by vocabulary is when we converse with each other, we have to have a vocabulary, right? Otherwise, it would not be a very good conversation. When you're improvising, you also have to have a vocabulary of material that you've worked on beforehand that, that can then come out in your solos, right? And this is essential. This is something that everybody absolutely has to do when they're learning to play jazz. So this is going to be your first lesson in vocabulary. I'm going to give you seven different 251 lines. And 251 is one of the most important progressions in jazz. Just about every tune that you're going to play out of the real book, out of the standard jazz canon, is going to have some kind of 251 progression in it. So it makes sense to learn vocabulary over the 2-5-1 progression so that we can then use it when we're playing over tunes. Okay? So what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show you three long 2-5-1 lines. And what I mean by that is it's going to be a four measure phrase. The first measure is going to be D minor 7th. The second measure is going to be G7. And the third measure is going to be C major 7 along with the fourth measure. Those are the long two five ones, four measure phrases. Sometimes you won't hear me play through all four measures. The line may stop a little bit before the end of the four bar phrase, but they are written in four bar phrases. And then the second type of two five one progression I'm going to show you is what we call a short two five one, which means that it only takes two measures to complete the two five one. What that means is two beats of D minor seven, two beats of G seven, and four beats, a full measure of C major seven. So I've got three long two five ones for you, and I've got four short two five ones for you. And these are all going to be diatonic lines. And if you don't know what I mean by diatonic, I will tell you. What diatonic means is that every single note contained in these two five one lines that I'm going to show you are in the chord in the scale that goes along with the chord. We're not going to do anything that doesn't fit in the scale, which you hear a lot of jazz musicians do. It adds a lot of tension to their lines, a lot of cool sounding stuff. But the first thing that you need to do when learning vocabulary is practice diatonic, which means that everything you play fits perfectly inside the chord that you're playing it over. All right, so let's get into it. Here is the first of three long two five one lines. Here we go. Okay, I'll play it up one octave. So can you hear that I only go two beats into the major chord, but that's okay. You can do that and then take the rest of that measure and a half off, leave some space in your solo. Here's line number two. This one's a little bit more complicated, but still very easy to figure out. So you can hear there's a few more notes in there, but we're still keeping it diatonic and we're still keeping it relatively simple. Here's that one again. Okay, there's line number two. Here is line number three. This is gonna be the last of the long two, five, one uh, progressions that I'm gonna teach you here today. A little bit different than the last one, but again, still diatonic, still pretty easy to play. Fairly easy 2-5-1 lines, but these are perfect, perfect, perfect to get you started. And that's what this lesson is for, people that want to get started learning their 2-5-1s. Okay, now on to the short 2-5-1 lines. So again, 
These are only a two measure phrase. What you're really mostly gonna hear is one measure of eighth notes for the most part. And then the second measure is gonna have a varying number of notes in it. So here's the first short two, five, one progression. Very, very simple one. But also a great one. I still use it all the time, even though it's very simple. Here's number two. One more time. Here is number three. That one has a little bit more um, interest to it. It doesn't ever go to the root of the C major seventh chord. It actually comes to rest on the five, so it's a little bit more interesting than the other ones that have all gone to the root. All right, and here is the fourth and final short two, five, one progression. Oh, I kind of messed that one up. Okay, so uh, all sorts of different melodic devices throughout those seven different two, five, ones, and it will give you a little bit of flexibility when you're playing over them. What I mean by flexibility is that you're going to be able to start on different members of the chord. Sometimes you're going to start in the root, sometimes you're going to start in the third, sometimes you're going to start in the fifth, and they all follow a little bit of a different contour. Okay? So if you want to get the PDF of these lines, please visit my website, which will be listed below this video, and there will be an in-depth instruction sheet on how to use the PDF, and then I have written out all seven of the 251 lines that I've performed for you today so that you can take them, learn them, put them in all 12 keys, and start using them in your solos. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll see you on the next lesson. Happy practicing. Thank you.